Well, uh, we are going to start with today's lecture and we are going to cover the topic that is tree updation procedure. Now, we have already seen in our last video lecture or last lecture, that is we were doing adaptive Hoffman coding part one in which we did what actually adaptive Hoffman coding is, how it is different from Hoffman coding and what are the basics of adaptive Hoffman coding that are needed for further coding and decoding procedure. Now, let's start with this. That is, we have uh, adaptive Hoffman coding, which is being divided into three steps, which is first is called as the tree updating procedure or process. Second, we are going to have the encoding process. Then we have the decoding process. Right now, these are the three process or procedures we are going to learn one by one. And all these three have certain algorithm that has to be followed. And this is a basically very important topic for you all. Uh, in this, uh, the question generally comes of eight to 10 marks. So that's a good point. You can score better. So starting up with this tree updation procedure, what we have, we have this flow chart. See, I'm not going to elaborate on this flow chart because at this first stage, because it will be a little confusing. So we are going to work on with the question itself, right? So let's start certain parameters which we need to understand are, first thing is there are two parameters. First one is called as the node number. And the second one is called as the weight of the node. Right, because we are going to update the tree. So we should be well aware of different parts of the tree. First is node number. How we calculate the node number, we have already seen earlier. Let me uh, give you a brief review back. That is, we have a formula to M minus one in which M is what? M is the total number of alphabets in English. And the total number of alphabets we all know is 26. So 2M means 26 into 2 minus 1. So 26 into 2, 50. And 52, my, sorry, 26 into 2 is 52. And 52 minus 1 is 51. So the total number of nodes in the tree will be 51. So the root node of the tree is always having the node number as 51. It is decremented further as the tree grows or as the tree is updated. Second is the weight of the node. Now there are two types of nodes. One is termed as the external node. You all must be aware of this. Second one is called as the internal node. External node is always represented with a square box while internal node is always represented by a oval shape. Now, external node means that it does not have any child, so no child. While internal node has child, right? Now, in external node, what is the weight of the node? The weight is what? Weight is the number of times a symbol is encountered in a given sequence. So, weight will tell you if the weight of the node is three, that means if this is a node with the name A, so A has been encountered three times. This is the meaning of the weight. And what will be the weight of internal node? The weight of internal node will be the sum of its all the springs. That means the sum of its children's weight will be the weight of the internal node or the parent node. Let's see it in detail. See, uh, this is what we have, the tree. This is the root node. This is the symbol node, A, represented as eight. This is what, this is the node number, 51, 50, 49, 48. See, now this is decrementing. What you have to remember regarding this is, always the parent node number is maximum. Then next comes the right child, 
and then comes the left child. So the node number of the left child should be less than the right child and the node number of the right child should be less than the parent node number. This is what I have given the condition. This we have to check always. Then comes this weight. This is why weight. So if A is two, that means A is occurring twice in the message. Next thing, the weight of this internal node will be what? The weight is five. Why it is five? Because this is the addition of two of springs weight. So two plus three is five. One plus two is three. One plus one is two. Zero plus one is one. So these are certain basics of tree. And the most important part is NYT. NYT is not yet transmitted node. This I'll tell you now. Now, uh, how we are going to update the tree? Basically, there are two conditions that we have to depend on. And the two conditions are based on the occurrence of the symbol, whether a symbol is occurring first time or the it has been already occurred or encountered. So if a message is there, A, A, R, D, V. So if I'm updating this particular A, so this is occurring first time, right? So if the symbol is encountered first time, then what will happen? It will, the node NYT will give birth to two children. And what are these two children? First is NYT node. And second one is the symbol node, right? So remember this condition. Next condition says, if the symbol is already encountered. So let's say this particular A, it has been, A has been already encountered. Then this condition will arrive. That is, this condition has been satisfied. Increment the weight of symbol node by one and update the weight of the parent nodes, right? These are the two conditions we have to remember. Now we are going to see how we are going to update the tree. For a given message, the message is this. A, A, R, D, V, A, R, K, right? Now one more thing we have to take care of is NYT node is not yet transmitted node. So the first step for each and every question will be NYT node, right? In this case, every time the weight of NYT will be zero because the weight is telling you the occurrence of the symbol, the number of times the symbol is occurring. And NYT means not yet transmitted. That means the symbol, there is no symbol which has been transmitted yet. So that is why it is always zero. And the node number will always be 51. By 51, we have already seen 2m minus 1 where M is what? M is the total number of alphabets in English, that is 26, right? So always a question that is being started, the root node will be the NYT node. Tree always starts with the NYT node as the root node. And it always it is an external node. So step one is NYT node, which is an external node. The weight is zero and the node number is 51. Now we move to the second step. In second step, we will say which symbol is encountered. Now let's see, A is being encountered, right? Let's check the condition whether A is occurring first time or second time. Obviously this is first symbol, so this is occurring first time. So what we will do, NYT node, that means this particular node will give birth to two nodes. It has given birth to two nodes. What are the two nodes? One is the NYT node, and the other one is the symbol node. So one is NYT node and the other one is symbol node. This square box has been converted to circle. Why? Because now it is an internal node. Earlier it was an external node. Why now it is an internal node? Because it has given birth to two childs. So that is why we have given the circle in this. How to update the weights? NYT will always be zero. The symbol node, one, A is one because this is occurring first, first time. So one, now the, 
addition of the weights of two offspring, that is zero plus one will be one. So this is updated here. This is about weight. Now, what about node numbers? Node number is 51, root node, then right child, decrement 50, then decrement one, left child 49. So this is the second step. I hope this is clear to you all. Now let's move to the third step. We have already encountered A. We have already done with A. Now the next symbol, second symbol we are going to encounter is again A. So now what we have to do, the second condition is true. What will happen if we are encountering a symbol which is already encountered? The weight of the symbol node will be incremented by one. So just see here, what we are going to do is, we are going to increment. This is what? This is the NYT, same as zero. NYT. And we have symbol node as A. Because symbol is occurring again, so what we are going to do, we are just incrementing the weight of A by one. So earlier it was one, now it is two. And now I'm going to add these two and update the weight of the parent node. So it will be what? It will be two instead of one. So this is what now? This is the step three. So just see here, this is what the step three is. This is the root node, that is two, zero and y t, a, two. This is the updation of a, a. Now moving to the fourth step, what we are going to do, we have to update r in the tree. How to update it? r is occurring first time. So what we have to do? NYT node will give birth to two nodes. One is again NYT node and the symbol node. So the other things remain same here. It will remain same. Only thing is this node will become now internal node because it has given birth to two nodes. One NYT as zero and other one symbol node as one. So this is what? This is symbol node R. And now we are going to update the weight. Zero plus one is one. Now one plus two is three. So this is the updation of tree. I hope uh, these steps are clear to you all. Next step is what? Fifth step. We have to encounter D. Again, we can see that D is being encountered or occurring first time. So what will happen? NYT node, the tree remains same. The NYT node will give birth to two. Again, one NYT and the other one as the symbol node. What is that? As D, fine. D is one, NYT is zero. Now this will become the internal node. And this is zero plus one, one. One plus one, two. 2 plus 2, 4. So just see, 4, 2, 2, 1, 1, and 0, 1. So this is how we have updated D. Now one more thing you have to remember is, this particular is called as block. This particular is called as one block. And I have told you that the node number, the node number, uh, sorry, the weight of the right child should be greater than the weight of the left child, either equal to or greater. It should not be that left child weight is greater than the right child. So if that situation comes, we will swap it, right? Now let's come forward. The next symbol we have to encounter is V. Let's see step six, how we are going to work. Same way, V is encountered first time. So we are going to add, that is NYT node will give birth to two nodes. One, the NYT node zero, and the other node as V, that is the symbol node as one. Again, updation of weights, zero plus one, one, one plus one, two, two plus one, three, three plus two, five. Fine, now just check this particular, whether all the weights are in the same condition. 
Now here you can say the left child weight is less and right child weight is greater. Here it is equal. Here it is greater, right? Left child weight is greater than right child. And here also the left child weight is greater than right child. Three is greater than two and two is greater than one. Now what we have to do is we have to swap these, right? The left child will be converted or will be swapped to the right child or right child will be swapped as left child, right? So let's see what we have done. We are not going to change anything. We are just going to swap it. This particular right child is placed in the, this particular right child is placed in the left position. So this is 2A and this is placed in right child position. So 3 and same here we have swapped it. That is 2 is placed in the right child place and 1 is placed in the left child. So 1 here, 2 here and the complete tree will remain the same, right? Now, next condition will be, that is what we have written, swapping as the left child weight is greater than right child weight. Now the condition is again satisfied. Now this is left child weight is less than right. Left child weight is less than right and so on. Seven step says, now we have to encounter next symbol that is again A. Now A is again encountered. So what we have to do, we do not have to do anything. We are just going to update or increment the weight of A symbol node by one. So A symbol node is this one, this one, and I'm just going to increment it by one. So it will be three. And I'm going to update these two. Three plus three. 6. So the parent node weight will be 6. So this is 6. Otherwise, other things will remain same. So this is what the updation of this one. Now next is what? Next we have to update R symbol, right? So R symbol updation, what we have to do is, we'll just see that R is again occurring. You can see R has already been encountered. So what we have to do, we will again increment the weight of rho of uh, symbol node R. Where is the symbol node R? R is here. So it was earlier one. Now I have made it two. I will increment the weight of the parent node, two plus two, four, four plus three, seven. So update the weight of parent nodes. Next, step nine, I'm going to encounter the symbol K. Now K is being encountered first time. So what will happen? The NYT node will give birth to two nodes, again NYT and the symbol node K. This will be zero, this will be one, and the nodes will be updated, the weights will be updated. How? This will be one now, this is one plus one, two. This is two plus one, three. You can see here, now three plus two, five, five plus three, eight. This is, has been updated. Again, you can see that the weight of right child here is greater than the left child. So what we have to do, we will swap it again. The only thing is this particular level will be swapped. Others will remain same. So eight, three, five will remain same. Two, three will remain same. Only this D will be considered as left child now here and two will be considered as right child and the re remaining tree will remain same, right? So this is the final tree. Now we do not have any other symbol to be encountered. This is the complete message. So this is what we have got. This is called as the tree updation. This is the complete tree, which is updated. So that's it. And I hope you have understood. Next lecture, we are going to work on with the encoding procedure. Thank you very much.